In today's video, I brought you three of the best strategies I coded and optimized for the TradeSmart AI channel with the help of ChatGPT. I will explain all the indicators needed and the entry and exit rules and show you both the in-sample and out-of-sample backtest results. And the best part, I will share the source codes for free. If you didn't even know that channel existed, on TradeSmart AI I showcase simple trading strategies that I code with the use of ChatGPT with an aim to find the best ones that's worth coding into a highly customizable TradeSmart Premium script. If you want to learn how to code with ChatGPT or just want to try out a few free trading view strategies, make sure to check out TradeSmart AI, link is in the description. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Ok, here is the first strategy. This one is a simple daily low high breakout strategy. It only uses two settings, the profit target and the stop loss multiplier. And the best part for this strategy, you don't need a single indicator on your chart. I am using this one on the Tesla one minute chart with a 0.1% fee on each entry and exit and a 10 tick slippage. Okay, let's see the rules for a long entry and exit. Here is a very long entry signal. For a very long entry, first we need to define where were the highs and the lows of the last day. So if you move your cursor and look on the bottom, you can see that here is the 9.30 opening candle. And if you move it to the right, the close of that day was right here at 4 o'clock pm. So in this range, we need to find the highest and the lowest points. Clearly the highest point will be right there. And the lowest point will be right around here. Now for a very long entry, the price should break out to the upside of this daily range. That breakout occurred on this candle, so this is a very long entry signal. The stop loss will be placed at the half of the daily range. This is the daily range and here is around the half point. And the take profit will be placed at a 5 times daily range or a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio, which will be somewhere around there. Also, the take profit will be placed at a 5 times the daily range value, and that will be somewhere around there. This usually results in a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio trades, but if the price gaps up on the open, it will be a bit smaller. Keep in mind that with this script, on each new valid entry signal, we need to update our take profit and stop loss placements. So here is the previous day's high value and here is the previous day's low value. Obviously the price broke out to the upside, so this would be another very long entry signal, but we won't enter into a new trade, we just update the stop loss and take profit levels. The new stop loss will be placed right there, at the midpoint of the daily range. And the take profit will be up here which is again a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio if we would have entered right at the breakout point. But as this time the price gapped up, we enter a bit higher, which creates us a 1 to 3.83 risk to reward ratio. Continuing this updating method, here is another very long entry. Here will be the updated take profit and the updated stop loss. And again, we got another very long entry, updated stop loss and updated take profit. And finally, here was another very long entry signal, but this time the stop loss got hit right here. So overall, we entered into the position there, and the take profit level will be right there. This created us a 1 to 14 risk to reward ratio trades. So with a strategy like this, you can get huge risk to reward ratio trades, but keep in mind this strategy is highly dependent on strong uptrending movements like this one. The opposite rule goes for shorts, and this is a long and short strategy. Let's see the backtest results. Ok, I am using a 50 contract order size with a $10,000 capital with a 0.1% fee on each entry and exit, and the slippage is set to 10. During this last 4 year backtesting interval, which was the optimization interval, the script generated 165% net profit, took 500 trades, with a 1.2 profit factor and 38% maximum drawdown. These results are not the best, but if you just take a look on the last two years of performance, it is pretty good. Now let's take a look on the after optimization date performance, so the out of sample data. I will set the start date to 2024, the 1st of March, and the end date to August the 20th. And after the optimization, this strategy is still profitable. It generated 29% net profit with a 16% maximum drawdown 
and had a much better 1.42 profit factor. Now let's see the next strategy. Here's the full strategy script, which is free for everyone. And for this strategy, we will need two different indicators. We will need the Bollinger Bands and the RSI. So let's add them to the chart. Type in Bollinger Bands and add this one. Then RSI, add this one. We also need to modify the settings as I optimize this strategy. First, the Bollinger Bands. Its length should be set to 25 the basis MA type to SMA, the source to close, the STD dev to 2, and the zero offset. For the RSI, we need to set its length to 20, the source can be set at close, and then switch to the style tab, untick the RSI based MA, we won't need that, and set the RSI upper band to 65 and the lower band to 35. This strategy is a mean reverting strategy, meaning we want to enter into a long position when the price is oversold, expecting a correction in the price movements. Here we have a valid long entry signal. For the valid long entry, the price needs to close under the Bollinger Bands lines, like here, 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 or here. And the second rule is that the RSI needs to be below the 35 level, and that occurred right there. So technically, all of the conditions are met on this candle's close. We can enter into a position at the close of the signal candle or at the open of the next candle. Now, after optimizing the strategy, the stop loss is set pretty far at a 3% distance, but that's what we are going to use because that's what the optimization said. To measure the 3% stop loss, move the position and here on the middle you can see how far we moved and it will be somewhere around here. We won't have a fixed take profit level, instead we will exit the position once the RSI crosses above the 65 level. And as the price starts recovering, it actually crossed above right there. So this was a profitable long trade. Here is another example. On this candle the price closed under the Bollinger Bands, the RSI is under the 35 level, script enters into a long, and once the RSI gets above the 65 level, it closes the position right there. And now let's see the backtest results. For this strategy we are using the Swiss franc JPY 30 minute chart. The initial capital is set to 1000 USD and the order size is 5000 contracts. We are using this commission rate for USD per contract and the slippage is set to 20 ticks. And here you can see the last 4 years of backtest results. Throughout this period we got 168 trades which is perfect, 111% net profit which is good. 68% win rate, 1.6 profit factor and only 17% maximum drawdown. But of course this is the optimization backtest range for which the strategy was optimized. Now let's see how it performed after the optimization date. I will set the start date to 2024, the 1st of March and the end date to August the 20th. And yes, it is even profitable after the optimization date. Although we have a pretty big drawdown, but well, that was just a 20% maximum drawdown limit, which is inside my tolerance. During this period, the script made 11.9% net profit, took 22 trades, with a 68% win rate, 1.4 profit factor, and as I said, with a 20% maximum drawdown. Let's move on to the final third strategy, which is my favorite. Okay, for this strategy, we will use one, two, three, four different indicators. So let's add them to the chart. We will need two simple moving averages. So type in moving average simple, add this one two times, then type in RSI, add the relative strength index, this one, and finally the ADX, add this one. Okay, this is how the script looks like. As you can see, it has a lot of settings and the trade mode to choose which side you want to trade. In this case, we will trade longs only. Generally, for crypto and for good performing stocks, long only is the way to go. We have all of the indicators needed, but we need to modify a few settings, so let's go over that. First, one of the SMAs should be set to 20 length. I also colored it red. This will be our trigger moving average. And for the other moving average, set an 80 length and color it white. For the RSI, we will use a 20 RSI length then switch to the style tab, untick the RSI based MA, we won't need that. Set the RSI upper value to 80 and the RSI lower value to 60. You can also untick the RSI middle band, as again, that's not needed. Finally, for the ADX, 
set the smoothing to 90, the DI length to 15, and add a horizontal line at the 20 level, as we will only allow trades if the ADX is above this 20 level. This way we can easily avoid sideways price action. Okay, now let's see a very long entry signal. And here we have a very long entry. For a very long entry, first we need the red faster moving average to curse above the white slower moving average. And that occurred right there. Then on the RSI for a very long entry signal, the RSI value needs to be below the 60 level, which is right here. And on the signal candle, it was at a 45 level. And finally on the ADX, the ADX needs to be above the 20 level and it is above. So all of the rules are met for a valid long entry. Now this strategy is different from the others because we won't use any stop losses. I know that is very risky and not advisable. So if you want to use this script, I highly recommend to modify the Pine script code of this one and add a simple stop loss just to be safe. We won't have a take profit level either because we will exit the position once the RSI value goes above the AD level. Let's see when that happens. So we enter there, the RSI was at a 45, it's starting going up, but didn't reach the 80 level. Here it was very close, but it is actually a 78.92 RSI level. And then finally, here the RSI got above the 80 level, and as you can see, the script exited the position right there. So that's how a trade looks like with this script. Again, all of these scripts are available on TradeSmart AI, or you can find the strategy ranking spreadsheet linked down in the description. Now let's see the backtest results. For the backtest we will use the Apple 15 minute chart, but this strategy optimization is highly profitable on many markets like Forex, indices, stocks, and even crypto. After I show you the Apple backtest, I will put up a few screenshots for other assets as well. Talking about the fees, we will use a 0.1% fee on each entry and exit, and a 40 tick slippage. The capital is set to 10,000, and the order size is 10,002, so basically at the beginning we enter with the full capital on each trade. But after the strategy generates some profits, the order size will still the same. The backtest time interval is again the last 4 years of price data. This was the data I optimized this script for. And as you can see, we have a beautiful equity curve, but a very low trade count. And this strategy is one of those strategies that is profitable on many assets. So maybe you could use this one on multiple assets to get a higher trade count overall and generate more profits. Of course, none of this is financial advice, as I am not a financial advisor. During these 4 years, the strategy generated over 100% net profit, with a 73% win rate, a 6 profit factor, and 13% maximum drawdown. With this drawdown, you can easily increase the position sizing, for example, double it. But the real question is how it performs after the optimization date. Let's see. I set the start date to 2024, 1st of March and the end date to 2024, the 20th of August. So this is the out of sample after optimization date backtest results, and they are absolutely amazing. Although we only got 4 trades, but the script generated 29% net profit, which is great, it had a 100% win rate, so no losing trades at all, and when you don't have losing trades, the profit factor will be absolutely huge, in this case around 300. The max drawdown is just 5.6%. This strategy also works on lower and higher time frames. Let me show you. 5 minutes is profitable, 10 minutes is profitable, and the 30 minutes is profitable too. You can even go up to the 1 hour, which is also profitable. And now check out the screenshot of other assets in other markets like Forex, indices, and crypto. And that wraps up today's video. If you like this one, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Also, check out TradeSmart AI here. And if you want to learn how to code strategies with zero coding knowledge using ChatGPT alone, check out this video. Or if you want to see another strategy from the TradeSmart AI channel, check out this video. As always, thank you all for watching. If you want to support the channel and get access to my best, highly customizable trading view strategy scripts that can be turned into automated trading bots, check out our Patreon and become a Smart Trader tier member. Have an amazing day and until next time, trade smart.